happy Saturday evening. This is Robert from Raincross Farms Makery, and Duke is right over here. I know He's you guys hiding. have missed him. Here, come here, Duke. Come say hi. Your fans have missed you. Here's Duke. We have missed you a lot. We went two whole days without doing a live, and he might have been having a good time, but I was kind of going through withdrawals. But I had to get some stuff ready for a ladies, a ladies uh, brunch this morning. So hopefully you caught that live where I went around to the different tables and showed you what was going on. And so here we are, Saturday night. I've got, I've got a cute project to show you. And oh, and this is Bill over here. Hi. We're back to our old setup, seeing how it. See how it goes. We're slowly transitioning downstairs to our studio. So most of the equipment is down there. So I have this little ring light that is blinding me, but that's okay. We'll make do. So pop on and say hello. Of course, I can't see. It's showing up in your um, in your glasses. Is it showing what? The ring the, light oh, is showing up is in it, your glasses. It, are the comments showing up in my glasses? Yeah. So no, anyway. I haven't got any comments yet. Okay. Four people are watching. But awesome. Well, I'm say hello. Them. Say hello, and I'm gonna put. I'm gonna send Come here, Duke buddy back. Boy. Come here. Changing of the laps. Come on. Hey, Mom you just invited me. me. Mom just invited me. She has me. no cheese. I've got no cheese. No. She has no cheese. There you go, buddy. <laughs> there. there we go. Okay, so this Beautiful. is this is going to be a very honest live because I'm I'm gonna tell you my honest feelings. Feel free to disagree. Or agree I'm gonna show you tonight I'm gonna show you our December club transfer uh, I've talked before about club it's a, a monthly subscription service that we offer for $19.99 a month you get an exclusive transfer to your door and three paste packets not the full jars but three paste packets and they come out new every month and the old ones go away so I got my order my December order so this is the December the December club transfer so it comes in comes in a package like this so this is this is our December it says good things are going to happen all ornate and flowery and it looks looks kind of pretty so I kind of thought, this has a lot of possibilities. I kind of like this. And then I looked to see what paste packets come with it. And that's where I kind of went, hmm. I don't know if it's because we're coming off of Halloween with bright, bold colors, purple and orange and, and fall with orange and yellow and red and Christmas and all those big, bright colors. And then these, these are the colors that are coming with this. Now, there are people that do research out there to see what's popular and what's trending. And these are the colors that will come with this month's club. Eucalyptus, which is kind of a pale Hi, green. Cheryl. Hello, I, I can't see any comments. That's uh, right. The glares. I'll to you. Okay. And peachy keen, which is a light, a light peachy pink. Kind of a kind of a flesh tone and teal so I, I don't know what your original thoughts were on those three colors but I kind of thought hmm not my favorites don't know that I'd have put I don't know that I'd have put those all together but that's what that's what it comes with Again, it doesn't come with the whole jars. It comes with the paste packets if you are a club member. If you're a designer, you just get the you just get the transfer for free every month. But these are the size of the paste packets. These are actually from the November. So you get a good amount of paste, so you could do several projects with them. But I thought, you know, I'm going to I'm going to be fair and I'm going to give it a try cuz you know, Chalk Couture hasn't really disappointed me much. Um these may not be my favorite colors, but we're, we're going to give it a try. We're going we're gonna to try the, the transfer with the colors that they have selected and 
later on in the month, we're going to change it up and we're going to, I'm going to do some colors that I think I would like and some projects. I saw somebody who put this on a t-shirt. It just looked adorable. A, a great thought. Good things are going to happen. Don't we deserve, don't we deserve some good things to happen in this upcoming year? We have been through it. I don't know what you, what all you have been through, but just as as a as a country, as a as a world, we have really been through it the last couple of years. So we've got to we've got to be hopeful that good things are going to happen. Okay. So this is another good thing that I like. This is our Aiden board, and this was two months ago's transfer. So I I love this one, but okay, it's time it's time for the autumny stuff to go away. It's a magnetic board. So I'm able to, I can, I can put that on a magnet and then I can put it aside, use it later. And I'm going to show you how you can see this is, this is not going anywhere, but it's not permanent. I used our chalk paste and it is what we call semi-permanent. So I'm going to show you how I can take this off and I can reuse this board. So I could do, I could use this board for every single one of the club transfers. Hi, Dougie. Okay. And only have to pay for the board one time. So it's it's really cool. So let me show you how to clear off your board. First of all, I'm just going to spray it with water. This happens to be distilled water, but it does not have to be. So I'm just spraying it with water because our pastes are water soluble. So I'm going to let it sit for a couple of seconds and let it soften up a bit. And then I'm going to use our paste scraper. It's just a little plasticky, it's kind of like a spatula. I don't know if you can see, it's got a, I wouldn't call it a sharp edge, but it's got an edge to it that helps me scrape this up and get it all cleaned off. I'm gonna need some paper towels in a second. So that's had a couple of seconds. So I'm just going to take my paste scraper and start scraping off that old paste. So this way I can change up my decor and not have to invest in a whole lot of different pieces and not have to store something away after the season. So you can see that paste coming up. You can still kind of see the shadow, I think. You can see the shadow. I'll show you in a second because I, I don't want to drip the water everywhere. So I've got, I've got the bulk of that paste scraped off the surface. So I'm going to take a paper towel and clean this up. Do you have any comments? Yeah, I've you got all... a couple. You've just been talking the whole time. I didn't want to well. interrupt. Um, you know, just, Cheryl was saying she doesn't have any of those colors. And she does have the board, but hasn't done anything with it. Well. Dougie said hello. Glad Hi, to Dougie. hear from you, Dougie. And um, Cheryl agreed with you. We all need something good to happen. So, yes. And then she okay. said, you're looking for the word beveled edge. On beveled it. edge. Okay, there we go. Okay, so just with water and that paste scraper, I've got, I've got the bulk of the paste off. I don't know if you can kind of see, there's still a little bit of ghosting where you can kind of see, I don't know, the oils or whatever on that surface. So I'm just going to take some more water and this time I'm going to take my board eraser. And I'm just going to scrub that down and it will be as good as new and I can redo, I can redo the surface. So with just investing in one surface, Hi, I can, I can use this for a ton of different, a ton of different designs. Mm -hmm. And this, this, this board actually comes in the starter kit which is a whole other thing. Don't get me started on that. If you're interested in um, being able to get 40% off of all our supplies, hit me up and I'll, I'll let you know how it works. Okay, so. Have just, a good time, Alana. Is she taking off? Yeah, she got she's, something going? She's got a Christmas party tonight. Oh, have fun. And then Dougie said she doesn't let her water sit, so she gets a ton of ghosting, so it's a good tip to okay. tell her how yeah. to Yeah, And you don't have to let it sit super long but this is the key to get the ghosting is the board eraser 
that there's just something about it. Um, it's like a magic eraser, but there's no chemicals. There's just something about the, the amount of grit on this. It doesn't scratch, but it takes off all of that paste. So how do you keep those things clean? How do I keep what things clean? The, this yeah, the border eraser. I just swish it in water and rinse it out. It doesn't build up. Not well. Eventually, how eventually. How fast do you go through them? Um, it depends on what I'm doing. Honestly, if I'm doing um, if I'm doing a lot of chalking and I'm using it a lot, I could go through it in a couple of days. Um, if I'm not doing it quite so much, it could last me a couple of weeks, a month. Got all kinds of fuzz on it that I picked up. Um, eventually, it kind of collapses on itself and it's not as fluffy. And then I just go get another. They're not too expensive. I think they're a two pack for three dollars. So handy to have. I know you think, oh, it's just a sponge, but really, if you if you tried it, you would you would see it really does make a difference. They aren't an absolute necessity. You could clean this off with just a paper towel. Um, you'd have a little more elbow grease and you might have a little bit of ghosting, but this gets rid of that ghosting. Okay, so I'm going to make sure it doesn't really matter. There, there isn't a, a hook on the back, but there's an edge that you could hang on a nail or I just, I just lean it up against a wall. Okay, so I'm going to take my transfer and I'm going to fuzz it because this is the first time I'm using it. I'm not going to wax this because this is a chalkboard surface. It does not need wax. It's not going to pull up the paint. There are no, it's not a wood grain, so it's not going to uh, have those grooves that I want to try to smooth out. I just want to make sure that when I pull this up, because it's sticky, that it doesn't pull so, it doesn't grab so tight that I have to pull and stretch the transfer when I pull it up. So that's why I'm fuzzing it. And first time using it, so it's very sticky. So I'm just going to, we call it fuzzing. You're really just taking a towel and getting some lint. Well, not big old clumps of lint, that's for sure. You're just getting some lint onto the sticky part to kind of ease up on the stickiness. And the more you use the transfers, the less you have to do this because they do lose a little bit of their grip as time goes on. The company guarantees that you get 10 to 12 uses out of them, um, but we have, we have found that you get that and more if you take good care of them, clean them up. I will try to remember to show you how we clean them. And I'm going to fuzz it one more time. And this, this transfer is our B size transfer, so it's eight and a half by 11, same as a regular sheet of paper. And this frame is nine by 12. So, uh, it's a little bit taller, so I'm just going to kind of center it in there. And then I'm going to push down and make sure I don't have any air bubbles. If there's, if there's air bubbles, that gives my paste a place to escape to and bleed, and I don't want that. So I'm getting all that adhesive stuck down. <laughs> Ken says, live from Las Vegas Strip. Awesome. Yep, Ken's on an adventure. We're going to be there in January. Okay, got that all pushed down. Now... I could, I don't know if you can see all this detail, there's lots of florals and, and leaves and flowers and big words and little words, and I don't feel like dealing with all that detail. You absolutely could do, you know, do the little flowers in one color and do the words in another color. I'm just going to do an ombre, because that'll, that'll go kind of fast. I haven't done one for a while. So Hi, Donna Scott from Texas. Nice so, to have you hello, with us, Donna. Donna, welcome. If you're new and you haven't followed our page, please consider doing that. That helps us out. That tells Facebook that that we have something to offer that people are finding valuable. Okay, so ombre is where the colors kind of fade into each other. They kind of blend into each other. So there's not like it's not like stripes. 
where the colors meet, they kind of blend together. And I'll show you how that works. So I'm actually going to, well, I'm gonna do it this way. Can you see me? Okay. Hey, Linda Lou. I think I'm gonna put the peach in the middle, but I think I'm going to put the eucalyptus, the light green on the top and the teal on the bottom. This would also look awesome in just one of these colors. Just, you know, do it a one and done. Everything, everything in teal or everything in the eucalyptus or everything in the peach. But they put these three together, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna give them the benefit of the doubt. So this first time we do it, I'm going to blend them all together. Okay, let me get, do I have another? I don't have another large one. I'll just use that one. No, I just have my two, okay. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go light green, peach, teal. Does that sound good to everybody? Speak now or, okay, so here's my light green, my eucalyptus. Here is my, that, that light is just really blowing that out. Peachy keen, kind of a flesh, flesh colored. And here's my teal. Again, I don't, I don't know if I'd put these colors together, but somebody did. Okay, so I'm gonna start with the eucalyptus. I'm gonna put a glob of it on my squeegee, and I'm just going Cheryl to... Cheryl says it sounds like a plan to her. Okay, and I'm gonna go to right about there. And I'm going to take off the excess except for a little extra just here at the bottom. I'm going to need that for my ombre. So I've got like a little line of paste, like a little army of paste right there. A little what? A little army of paste, a little army line. I don't okay. know. Okay. I don't know. Okay. And then I'm going to use my peachy keen, same thing. I'm going to put that Hi, Linda. in the middle here. Glad you're with us, Linda. Hey, Linda. Which Linda is that? Huxley. Awesome. Hovey. Yes. Welcome. We I'm have, how to we talk have a again, lot sorry. of Lindas. We have a lot of Lindas. We have a lot of Beckys. We like Lindas and Beckys. Okay, so I've got just like a little ditch of... A ditch? I don't know. Time? How do I describe that? You've left a little, a little mound on I've the side. I've left a little there, I mound. Guess. I've left a little mound on I the side. And I'm going to use it there. for the blending. Okay. So that is yeah, You don't want to blend too much. I mean, you don't want too much there. You want, and like then, she's leaving just this tiny little bit on there okay. to mix and together. And I'm going to use my Otherwise tea. it turns to mud. Okay, my teal seems a little thick. It should be fine though. A levy? <laughs> Maybe it might be a, a levy. levy. Could be. <laughs> it's a levy like we have in South Louisiana. It's like yeah, a furrow. A, I know. Furrows a furrow goes down, right? Furrow goes down. Furrow a, goes levy down. Is, a levy is what we walk on when we take the dogs down by the river. Okay. And it's a mound Okay, that's it's kind up. of a levee. Gonna... But it keeps the water from flowing over into where it's not supposed to be. Okay, I feel like my... my uh... I took my Chevy to the levee, but the levee was dry. Good old boys. Okay, my, my teal seems a little thick, so I'm going to actually... I'm actually, before I go on, I'm going to peel up that teal part. I probably should have fuzzed it more. Okay, so I'm wanting to go from the middle. Let me stick my hand in there. Okay. And I, like I said, my, my, my teal feels a little dry. I don't want it to, I don't want it to get stuck in the transfer. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do to do the ombre, I'm going to 
spray a little bit of water on my finger, just a little. I don't want a lot or I'll end up. And then I'm going to kind of smush it. Smush that's the, it. That's the technical smush term. Smush those it. two colors together, kind of blending them. And I think I need a little more. I, think I need a little more peach. We'll see. Okay. So it kind of blends the two colors together. And let me do the same thing. Let me clean off my finger. And I'm going to do the same thing with the teal and the peach down here. My fingers a little might be a little too wet. So we'll see if I like this. We'll see if you like it. Okay. Nice part is it's water based. Let's do it. And if I don't like it, take it off. If I don't Here's like it, part. you I saw actually, you saw how I can take it off. I actually like okay. that color of teal against okay. the black. It's a good look. Okay. But so he's I, gonna. I'll pull this down. You pull. Okay. It's it's really sticky. So. Okay. What do you know? I I actually kind of like those colors. I still don't know that I'd pick them. I still don't know that I would decorate with them. I'm going to set this aside and I'm I don't going know to if the spray peach is the right it. color. The teal and the eucalyptus work. Okay, let me show you. Peach I'm just I'm spraying good. my transfer so it doesn't dry. In the picture it looks really good. In okay. the video let me show you. The colors in the videos look good together. Okay, here we go. Do you see how how there's not like a, a sharp line between the green and the peach, and there's not a sharp line between the peach and the teal. It kind of it kind of blends. What do you think? What do you think of those colors? Be honest. Cheryl says better than she thought it would be, but just not her thing. I agree. I agree. She's with me on the peach color thing. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, peach and green kind of was a 2000s, a 90s, 2000s trend. I don't know. Maybe it's coming back. Like I said, the there are people at Chalk Couture who do research about upcoming, upcoming trends. And I'm just sticking these in a water bath and closing them up. Let me uh, take this over and you clean your screen. Okay. There you go. And I'll blow he's, on he's this. Going to, he's going to babysit that so I don't smudge it. And let me show you how we clean the screen. Simple. Super Donna simple. She loves those colors. Well, good. 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 I'm not, I'm not saying anything bad about them. They're just, they're just not ones that I would necessarily put together. And they're not really ones that I tend to use. But that doesn't mean I, I kind of am vanilla. So anyway, so I'm going to take some water. This happens to be distilled water, but you do not need to use distilled water. I just always keep distilled water in them because if I need to add any to the paste, I want to use distilled so nothing grows in there. Okay. And I'm going to start with just a paper towel and get off the excess paste. Okay, all of that. Saved my squeegee, my, not my squeegee, saved my board eraser. Now I'm gonna take, the, I'm gonna spray it again. This time use my board eraser. And I am just cleaning off that paste. My goal is to get it out of the silk screen. These, these colors aren't so pigmented that, it, that it's going to stain the, the green part. But even if it did, that's not a big deal. And I can see I still have some in there, so I'm going to flip it over and clean the back. Again, spray again, board eraser again. So I'm cleaning out the screens. See, and this is it's starting to 
it's starting to um, deteriorate a little bit, which is letting me know it's, it's coming to the end of its life soon. I get a couple more uses out of it. So I'm cleaning, I'm not only cleaning the paste out of the screen on the sticky side, I am removing some of that uh, fuzz that we put on earlier. Okay. And then there you go, you can see, you can see through, see through that screen. There's no paste, so it's clean and clear. So I'm just gonna let that dry. Actually, I'm gonna let it dry sticky side up. And when it has, when it has dried, I will take my backer paper, shiny side to sticky side, put it back down, smooth it out, and store it away till I'm ready to use it again. So that's how you clean your transfers, just simple water. You could easily go over to the sink too, which is my preferred way of cleaning them, to just run some cool water over them and touch them up with the board eraser, but I'm not gonna leave you to go to the sink. And you can see all of the, all of the paste we took out of that screen so we don't want it drying in here. Okay, so this is, this is our little project. So let's do, let's do a little bow for it just to kind of dress it up. So real quick, cause I, I don't do a lot of bows, but a lot of people like them. So, and honestly, I don't have a lot of these colors in my ribbon collection, so we're gonna, we're just gonna kind of make do. I kind of have this, um, it's, it's kind of a cross between the teal and the, look that way. Oh. you're doing that off screen. <laughs> it's kind of a cross between this, the eucalyptus and the teal. So let's use that. And again, if I don't like it, I don't have to use it. And same thing with this. If I didn't, if I really didn't like it, I can clear it off and clean it off and do it in different colors, do a different, do a different transfer. And I'm just gonna do what's called a messy bow or a refab bow. And I've got some of this ribbon. It's got it's got some green and Actually, it's kind of got orange and blue, but... Darby says she likes those colors on the black. I agree. Yeah, I agree that does that. That, it, that does look really... If it was, if it was on, on a white, it, yeah. Be okay, so. And then Duke has decided since he can't be in the picture all the time, he's going to sleep on the on the uh, pillow over there okay. by Daisy. Okay. So he's decided it's, it's not exciting unless he can be in the picture somewhere. Here so. I am using my good scissors on wire. <sighs> What's wrong with me? I'd get yelled at for that. You would. I know better than to do that. What happened okay. to you? I don't know. Okay, and I've got some, this kind of a natural, my words are, my words are, are escaping me tonight. Kind of a jute colored, Burlap. Burlap. I got Not really a bunch burlap, of this. This, was, this must have been a good price. I think that is Hobby Lobby, and it must have been, it must have been, no, that's Joanne. Joanne had some really good, some really good discounts if you uh, keep your eyes out for them. Okay. And then I, I had very little peach, and this is truly not even peach. It's kind of a rose color, but that's the closest we've got. Okay, so messy bows are just strips and you kind of lay them down, crisscross, little X. I was gonna say it again, I was gonna say, raise your hand if you've done a messy bow. You can raise your hand, I'm not gonna see it. <laughs> okay. And Crisscross, applesauce. Okay. Every bow I've made has always been messy. Not intentional. Okay, so you've got all of these and now I'm going to take them and I'm going to, I've got a piece of twine and I'm going to flip it over upside down and I'm going to 
cinch it up tight. So it kind of looks like that. And tie it again. Okay. And then you just kind of fluff and arrange and trim. Betty her hand. Okay. Hmm? She's, she's used to the classroom, so she knows how to raise her hand. She, I'm sure she did. How many of you actually raised your hand? Okay, so I'm going to trim this up. I'm not going to dovetail them. I'm just going to kind of go every which way. Taking off your suspenders, huh? Well, sitting here, I don't have to have my, to hold my pants up. Everybody's happier when my <laughs> pants are held up, so, you know. Yes, the world. Right now, everybody's happy when my pants are held up. That's a good thing. Okay, just trimming it up. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm making it up as I go. I don't want this to be huge. I just kind of take it and futz around a little bit with it until I get it the way I like it. And I'm going to give it a tie one more time. And I'm going to trim that off. And I think instead of, because this is a magnetic surface, instead of gluing it to the board, I'm going to glue it to a magnet. Hopefully that's not too heavy. So I've got a magnet here. It's got it's a adhesive, but I don't trust that. So I'm going to give it a dab of glue extra. And make sure I put it on the right, correct side. And I'm gonna hold that. So if you like this transfer, it, it has an awesome saying, an awesome thought behind it. Good things are going to happen, so think positive. Could be a could be your catchphrase going into the new year. This is only available for, it's an exclusive transfer. It's only available for club members who pay the $19.99 a month, and then every month they get a brand new transfer in the mail with the three paste packets. And it's also available to designers. Designers get it for free. So if it's something you're interested in, or if you kind of like the idea of getting craft supplies to your door every month, you can type in the word exclusive. I think it's part of the pinned comments. You can type in exclusive in the comments and it'll give you a link to two things. It'll give you a link to all the additional supplies that I used tonight, The the fuzzing cloth, and I don't think I used the drying tool, but drying tools in there, and the squeegees, and the board erasers, and there's also a link to club, because that's the only way to get this transfer. So think about whether that's something you're interested in, and I'm going to bend this forward, kind of like a butterfly. So there. Kind of matches, you know. Dougie I'm, says, that's so cute. It is, it is cute. Can't wait for it to arrive. It is cute. I might, I may, I, I will definitely change up the colors and try it again with something else. But. You know what? I think you were to stick to two colors instead two of three. Colors? Yeah. Two colors and three? And I'm looking and, at it. I like it in, I like it with the eucalyptus and the peach or mm -hmm. I like it with the teal and the peach. But know. not. Yeah, the three, I'm quite I don't sure know. How it all works. Well, and I don't, I don't know. I don't know what they were thinking when they put these three colors together, but if you wanted to use all three, here is an option. Um, I would actually probably just do white. I'm not a super huge teal 
I don't decorate with teal, but that would be very pretty too against the black background. But I think I would just do white, solid white, um, and that would look nice. But there's a whole array of other colors you could use if you wanted to, and that's the good thing about this is you're not limited to what they send you. You can, you can use other colors. So think about club, whether that's something you would like to do. Um, again, $19.99 a month, and it ships for the, the, the monthly transfer ships for free to your home. They also, as a benefit for club members, any anything that you bu you purchase online, you get flat rate $4.95 shipping, which is an awesome deal. I don't know if you've had to pay for shipping for, for much lately, but you you can't send you can't send a small package for under three dollars I and mean, that's just a little package so uh, you could order hundreds of dollars worth of supplies and they're going to charge you 4.95 shipping um, every month they have some sort of uh, special just for club members in addition to that i personally have some uh, special perks for my club members and I would love to have more club members. I'd like to have enough to where we could do a craft night once a month. We could just do a virtual uh, get together, use the transfer that we all have gotten and see what surfaces everyone comes up with. But So just an idea. So think about it if that's something you'd like to do. Think about it as a gift. Maybe you know somebody who you think would be interested in crafting, doing using our stencils to do crafting and Everybody's, coming, Everybody's over. coming over. Daisy's coming over. Everybody's coming over. So think about giving it as a gift. You could yeah, sign up for it out. and maybe the first month send it to your address. And then when you get it later on in the month, it's ready to wrap and put under the tree. And then after Christmas, you can change the address to the person you're giving it to. It's kind of like a jelly of the month club. It's the transfer of the month club. So uh, think about it. Look up, look it up online. Online. On the pinned comment, you can just you can also type club, and it will send you just the information about club. Take a look, see what it's see what it's about, and sign up if you'd like to, or ask me more questions. Either way, okay. So Duke is back, Daisy's Daisy's down there, but we're not they both came we're over. not horizontal, so you can't see her. So this was our project tonight with the December club transfer, and. Good things are going to happen. I, I certainly hope good things happen. Not even waiting till January 1st, starting now. Good things happen to all of you and to all of your families. And thanks for joining us on Saturday night. And I believe we will be back tomorrow night. Keep, stay posted. If you wanna, if you wanna get a text message right before we go live, there's a number in the pinned comments. Uh, you can sign up for that service, but other than that, thanks again. Uh, follow our page if you haven't already and tell your friends about us. Sprinkle the video to other groups or to your page. We'd appreciate that. And I think that's it. So thanks a lot. Have a good night. Have a good Sunday. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.